Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Solutions Brewing Podcast. I'm Brendan, uh, awake and well this week, as opposed to last week when I <laughs> collapsed and slept through everything. And then an hour after the recording was done, saw the text message from my colleagues here, who I'm sure <laughs> skewered me mercilessly on the air last week. Mm-hmm. You, you uh, didn't la- you didn't last listen to last week's podcast? What? No, no. I have been recovered from, I don't know what the hell it was. It was not pleasant. Mild case of death. <laughs> Pretty much. So finally backing up and I'm going to live in and catching up on all my podcasts, but not quite to ours yet. Uh, joined by uh, Rob, Rob and Steve, who you'll remember from last Hey-o. episode. hey And I'm off blood thinners, so guess what? Hey. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I'm gonna have uh, this, and I'm uh, still a little out of it, so I don't even know what we're talking about today. The only thing that I know is that Far won another award. Yeah, which seems to happen bastards. every year around this time. So <laughs> good for them. Yeah, I, I uh, thought it was a little bit funny because it's copper wins gold. Yeah, yeah, they're <laughs> copper. A, the far copper beer, it's an amber beer, wins gold. But yeah, it's called copper. So I, whatever. It's the only time you turn copper into gold, I suppose. And you must be an alchemist over there. Yeah, uh, good for but, him, man. It's... But yeah, good for him. It's uh, yeah. I'm going to say, Brendan, you sent the article to us just before uh, before supper or whatever it was. And it was I saw like, it pop up a few times. It was on, like, I think CCTV yeah, it was the, or something like that, too. And yeah. yeah. But uh, that he he won gold in Germany again, which is just fantastic. He's, you know, going over there and being like, I make this amazing beer in Alberta. And it's literally, it's putting us on the map in a really good way. So with that, yeah. it's just... Uh, yeah, all, like this all great for him. That's amazing, but also, damn him. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So before we get into our other our actual topic, I want to thank Greg for sending me again this beer from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Sorry, this is from Uncle Leo's Brewery. It's a smoked porter. It's it's actually good. I, I didn't. I was like expecting it was going to be like a big smoke bomb, but it's actually a really delicious porter. It's awesome. Uncle Leo's Brewery, does it say where it's from? Uh, I should turn my light on so I can see what I'm reading. Oh, I, there's I, so I just much light in that spaceship. How could you not see it? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's from Picto. Lionsbrook, <laughs> Nova Scotia. Lionsbrook, yeah. yeah. Uh, Picto, Nova Scotia. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, I know Picto good. well. So, thanks, Greg. Well, somewhat it's well. <laughs> Cool. But so yeah, what are we then, talking about today? So what we're actually talking about today, and I'm just going to repost this for you, Brendan, so you can look it up real quick, you know, with the preparation that we love to to do for these shows. I, I don't have time for that. I'm looking up where Lionsbrook is. <laughs> Nova Scotia. <laughs> well, that's, it um, doesn't matter. It's it's a very straightforward article. Basically, it is, it is a German brewery, actually some monks, so a monastery or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, found a way to make turn beer into a powder and actually taste good, I guess. You can't get it anywhere. It's only at, available at that brewery, but the, the article shows them you just add water, basically. So it's non-alcoholic right now. Uh, I guess you could make it alcoholic if you added vodka. <laughs> <laughs> some some flavor of spirit some, to like... Uh, to yeah, some neutral spirit. Bit. But, uh, yeah, so it's really interesting because it's obviously beer is liquid, which is water, which is heavy. So transporting it is expensive because you, a lot of times things are transported by weight. So if you could reduce things down to this powder, you're reducing a lot of the volume and the weight. So you could transport more for less. That was the concept or the, the gist of it. Yeah. The gist of what they were trying to do there. And it's it's kind of really interesting because they do say like, you know, you just add water and it should uh, it'll froth up complete with a foamy head and full flavor. And again, I'm not a, I'm not a chemist or anything like that, but like the fact that you would add it to add it to there and you would actually get some carbonation, I guess. Like that's that's what I would assume by foamy head and full and all that, because otherwise it would just be a flat beer. So if they've managed to put in some something that bubbles, something CO2, 
So pop it in there and then it reacts and it creates that carbonation. That's actually really interesting because then you, you, you like you're not drinking flat beer because that's that was my first thought when I read this. I'm like, you're, you're just just add water. So it's like Kool-Aid and it's like, oh, this sad flat beer is sad and flat. But if it's carbonated. Way better. I'm not sure how that works. I saw a video. I did see them like it's basically like if you remember that Nesquik chocolate powdered milk. Mm -hmm. it's like that they just take a couple scoops put it in a glass and they like stir it around so i mean it foamed up from i think from the stirring but i don't think it actually stays carbonated or anything because how would you how would you what do you have powdered co2 no well you can put some like like chemistry so like think uh baking powder and, and vinegar like you mix the two of them it produces co2 bubbles Right, so yeah, is there something like putting that into beer? <laughs> but but <laughs> no, but they are the Germans. They are very knowledgeable and precise about many many things. You have to so, add water and vinegar to this product to make yeah. it. <laughs> but is I don't but, think they would do that either because then it wouldn't pass Rhein Eis Gabo. But there, but there's got there's got to be something. There's got to be something in there, otherwise it's sad flat beer. And so there there has to be some sort of mineral or maybe some sort of something that they're adding. That when you add water, it fizzes. There has to be other. Otherwise, why would you drink flat beer? Extra, <laughs> extra magnesium. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, extra. so yeah, like it. It's a very interesting idea because, like they do mention in the article, that beer is ninety to ninety-five percent water by weight. Correct. And you know, if you can remove that, that's a great idea. It's just. What, what this is really reminding me of is um, like how we, how we started brewing is literally a bag of wort and then just like adding yeast and letting it do its thing. Um, it made, it made an okay, it made a passable beer and didn't make an okay beer. It made a passable beer. But with that, like, is there anything I, I, I'm, I'm very intrigued by this product. What do you I think, would Jim? love if this came with like a little homebrew kit. And I was like, just add water. Now wait a week. <laughs> <laughs> Not even they were they were showing them just scooping it into the water and drinking it right away. <laughs> so it's almost like it's obviously different than say uh, dried malt extract. Pretty yeah, much brewed with that. That's... So because obviously dried malt extract is just powdered sugar in a sense, mm -hmm. and then uh, yeah. Because yeah. like so, this so, is so a finished product. It's just missing water. So it makes me wonder how they're doing that too. Because like, are they like putting it under vacuum or something like that, and just basically boiling away all the water out of it, and I then have, like no basically idea. scoop? I, you know, like, it's just speculation. But yeah. like, then are they scooping that residue off of like the tray they put it into the the vacuum chamber in, and then that's the just add water. Yeah, I don't know. And you know what? And for shits and giggles, I actually emailed them to see if it was possible to get some. I have not heard from them. <laughs> I don't oh, know if they look speak at... English, though. It might only be German. I don't know any German. So <laughs> if someone wants to ask them in German, that'd be great. Generally, actually, Germany is actually a fairly multilingual country. I'm Most sure they know. understand English. Most of them know like two to three languages. So they probably understood you and then probably ignored you. Probably ignored you. <laughs> like, who's the solutions brewing guy? Nobody. And you lose that no one. Yeah. But like, so an another interesting thing that with this again, because take taking beer places is super heavy and all that. Could you take this to space? Do you well, think? If it's powder, then yes. Yeah. Space it's, beer. It'd be pretty light. <laughs> you can mix it with the whatever. Well, the whatever astronauts recycled use. urine. Yes. That's what it would be. But then at least then it would taste like beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so also just like looking at this it's like like they're saying like a lot of people are skeptical skeptical which of course of course you would be because this is such a uh such a weird idea you know what you don't know if something's gonna work out until you try it out so i'm, I'm all for this kind of experimentation it's neat i think it's it's neat. I still feel like they're they are gonna need some something to add CO two to it properly or or something like that. Even just looking at some of the videos there, yeah, they get a little bit of foam on top, but I, I you don't see any of that trademark carbonation 
within the beer? No, because I don't think there is any. It's probably just... It, it's just it foams up up top when they whisk it up. And, they, and then what they're whisking it with is like a, a coffee foamer thing. So they're, they're, they're doing it a little bit for show. But if the flavor's there, then you can get a little of those um, soda stream CO2 addition to your thing. There you go. <laughs> and then... Maybe it'll have just you, be a new soda stream flavor. Just like plop it yeah. in there. Like, I'm gonna say, have you ever tried to put anything but water in a soda? It does not work. It does not work. <laughs> These Germans are very precise about many things. They can probably make it work. I I would hope so. But <laughs> just okay. Just this is like a couple of months ago. Maybe yeah. Maybe in the summer of last year. Just for shits and giggles, I had a very lightly mixed. Uh, fruit juice from concentrate that i had done and it was a, it was a little watery i added a little bit too much and just for because it was so watery it's like again most of this is not like the substance that was added to it it's been diluted and all that i'm gonna throw it in a soda stream and so i did and it blew back in my face hard like it wouldn't actually like pushing down on the the button to get it like do the nozzle thing to get it going did not work it did not like it at all and as a result, it just kicked, it kicked it out of the, um, cause there's a pressure safety valve on it. It kicked out the, uh, the watered down juice out of there. And so it was sticky. <laughs> it was sticky and it was a whole bunch of places and it did not carbonate the, uh, the juice. So I kind of, <laughs> I wish there was a simpler way to do it, but I don't think there is. I Throw it in a bright tank and put some CO2 on it. <laughs> <laughs> does every uh, bit of beer come with its own bright tank like a I little mini a little mini cylinder now that would be cool take this powder throw it in there add yeast wait a week oh no what no, no you what don't you need to add yeast well, I'm... No, no, I, I, know, I know i know i'm being facetious here no what what you need to do is you need to get one of those old classic um uh for making whipped cream or foam uh, cream like with a canister because you pour basically oh, yeah. the water beer in there, put it on a CO two cartridge, yeah, and yeah. then pour from that, which is basically just a growl, like a fancy growler. <laughs> there are growlers you hook up the little two hundred fifty gram bottles to. I'm yeah, sure I got one of them. Has one. Yeah, I got one of the the big eight liter ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's actually kind of fun because you just pour off it and they just give it a little shot of CO two to displace whatever. Yeah, whatever after, volume just poured out of it after after every kick. Yeah. After every tap, it was fun. It came with a picnic tap. I was really happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> they they knew who they were selling it to. Well, they're like, "This is too heavy to pour, so we're going to give you an adapter with yeah, just, the tap on just, the lid." Oh. And then here's the little CO two thing, so you can just give it a little shot to make sure it's not, make sure it still pours. Yeah, ma maintain its. Uh, yeah, make sure it doesn't go flat. Yeah, I got that one from. Uh, uh, what are they called? Brewery in Invermere. Throw something. Don't know. Don't know. Arrowhead Brewery. I don't think I've heard of that one. They're in Invermere. They're right by the airport, right up up top there. I was hoping to actually. So I was just in Invermere this past weekend, dropping off uh, my wife and son with the in-laws, and I was very excited because I got to fly out there and got to fly back. Dropping off or dumping off? <laughs> you you off. i'm actually joining them again on thursday here but they they got the week off i had to work but i was hoping to smuggle back some some of the arrowhead brewery beer and just didn't have a chance to get to their brewery because yeah. uh, where i landed wasn't the it's, same it's anyway funny. now that i think of private planes I, I just watched cocaine bear recently so um, <laughs> So I'm, uh, uh, every time, I, for whatever reason, when I think of, when you said smuggling and you have your own personal little plane there, it's like, I just picture Brendan <laughs> throwing Drunk. stuff out the side into the forest. <laughs> no, no, I just wanted to take a four pack of beer back, which I ended up, I, I grabbed from a different, just from the grocery store, a different BC beer to take back. No, you can see Brennan arriving at the, uh, at the airport back in Alberta and the cops are surrounding him and he's like, no, no. No, it's just powdered beer, I swear. <laughs> I'll be like, straight, screw you, screw Germany. you guys. I'm going to have a beer on the, the sit here, find my plane, and have a beer. <laughs> then you do whatever you need to do. But I, 
I'm enjoying this moment. It's also zero alcohol beer. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, I don't know if there's much else to really talk about for this. It's just like, yeah, this is so a it's neat cool it's an interest, yeah. It's an interesting concept. Yeah. It, I'm sad that it's not alcoholic. That's, uh, but it's a, a function of, uh, of them powdering it down. And I'd love to try some. You know what? If it tastes good, I'm not going to care that it's on a non-alcoholic. I've been trying be, to find a good non-alcoholic beer for a long time. I'd be super curious. I mean, if, especially yeah. if you think like, if it is good and it's coming in this powdered formula, all you do is you're mixing it with whatever ratio of water. Mm -hmm. And if you're like a, a big brewery or something, you just honestly you just mix all of that into a bright tank and mm -hmm. then just carbonate it and then you package it. Yeah. Super simple process, right? That would take two days mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or however long it takes, whatever, well, it depends what pressure you're doing it, but yeah, whatever, two days, three days. Right. Yeah, it'd be easy yeah, peasy. Interesting. Because, like, again, going back to the weight issues, like that's why you, you hardly see any breweries with uh, glass bottles anymore. It's it's a weight issue. Like, why would you move stuff around in that? That's why aluminum cans kind of took over. And bottles break easily compared and, to cans. Yeah, durability. Right? Yeah. And and it's and funny on this light, one. They keep the light out. Yeah. Way better than a bottle. And, it, and it's funny because they uh, they mentioned on this one article I found that they mentioned this. They're like, we have no idea what this looks like. So we had an AI come up with it. And yeah, that was fun. I, I really and, enjoyed that. And it's funny because it's just like these pop top uh, or just like fold up the flap sort of thing. Beer cart, a carton. Like it looks like a milk carton, but it's for powder in that. And it's just like, oh, that that'd be way great. And that could, that could fit on the shelf super easy. Yeah. Here is a purely speculative AI generated image of a potential beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and at the most important lines at the bottom, for your entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> and for some reason they have three images here. They have a gallery of these AI generated things. <laughs> yeah, so someone had someone had a little well, it's super easy to generate AI art nowadays, so that probably probably took that person all of five minutes to get that get that in <laughs> but yeah in interesting cool we're, yeah. we're a little ways away from that <laughs> indeed well if anyone else has any comments about this or you know came across some other interesting article how would they let us know steve Ooh, you're gonna make me do it. <laughs> that's right usually you do it to me so this time i get to do it ah uh, yeah i see so uh, they can go to our website, solutionsbrew.com, uh, where there will be a form. You can send us a message directly at no, pro or no problems at solutionsbrewing.com, where we will be having our store open up very, very soon. So you will be able to order from us directly uh, on, our, on just the business meeting for this call. We are hashing out uh, prices and kind of delivery dates and stuff. So that's going to be happening very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. It might be in our newsletter as well. And then if you want to contact us on social medias, you can do it at Solutions Brewing Co. on Facebook and Instagram. And they should be actually showing up on both now again because we relinked the account. So the, the Facebook people get what the, the Instagram people were getting. That reminds us, dude, you should probably check that because I don't have Facebook, so I can't check it. <laughs> I will check that right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, that's it. Actually makes it very awkward i'm like i hope this is working <laughs> I, like i went back and i logged in and everything and it, i did see a post from like last two weeks ago so but okay. again i don't check facebook that often i i don't so all right zuckerberg i'm gonna log in and let's see what's going on all right everyone thanks for listening we'll yeah <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see you next week yeah <laughs> take care everyone. talk to you again <laughs>